Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to go back to the good old all-time power law trend line of the Bitcoin price. All right. So here we are again with the good old Bitcoin price, all-time price history starting on May 22nd. It's my date. I'm roughly picking May 22nd, 2010. Bitcoin Pizza Day, where uh, Laszlo, our friend, made the first recognized Bitcoin barter transaction, uh, 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. So a couple months ago, I was back on Peter McCormick's podcast with Peter and Danny talking about this uh, chart. Uh, it's a favorite of theirs and of many um, have been publishing a variation of this for at least five years now, probably six years. Um, based on uh, a couple uh, good posts from Bitcoin Talk back in the day, uh, even though they were using a little bit of a different model than I am. Uh, there's four basic trend lines and statistics, a linear trend line, and there are three non-linear trend lines, which would be logarithmic, exponential, and power. This is a power law or power regression trend line, where on log scale, it grows pretty quick at the beginning, but then it's a little bit asymptotic. Uh, decays at the end, but that's just how it looks on log scale. That's just how it looks based on the formulas. If I go back to linear scale, it still looks exponential. It's just a little bit different uh, than an exponential curve. Point is, with Bitcoin, far and away, the best fitting statistical trend line curve that you can draw is a power trend line. I'm not saying for sure that Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price will uh, stay on this in the future. This is just probabilistically how the price has been behaving. And we can draw some percentiles to suggest how price would be in the future. All right. Do see my prior videos uh, on explaining the different curves and looking at gold uh, as well uh, for these different trend lines. But anyway, 95% R squared is a great fitting trend line for Bitcoin. So I just want to do a very, very quick revisit here uh, on this episode. Here we had the 2021 boom, a little bit hidden by my tooltip, but it's a double top there getting over $60,000 per Bitcoin twice. Uh, actually, let's zoom out just a little bit to get the tooltip not in the way. There we go. Um, and so we see here, again, once you draw that trend line using simple statistics, uh, percentile bands, which are basically standard deviation bands, uh, we can show all right, based on every single day's worth of pricing data where that price data point fits at any given time. And unlike early days, uh, these double tops here in 2021 were actually not so rare based on the all-time trend. They were above a one standard deviation move up, which means they were outside of two-thirds of the time. So two-thirds of the time, the Bitcoin price will be within these blue bands. And then what is the red band? Uh, what are the red bands, I should say, that is a two standard deviation move or a 95 percentile move. It means that 95% of the time, based on the statistics, based on the data, based on the coefficients, we can expect the Bitcoin price to be within these bands. And unlike other models, which have been uh, lauded and praised and then forgotten in prior years. This is just a very simple statistical model. It will adjust every day up or down based on the Bitcoin price. Okay. So unlike in earlier years, just a quick revisit here in 2011, 2013, and in 2017, we got to two standard deviation moves based on the all time trend. Now they were probably even more extreme at those particular times. But looking back, using all the data that we have even until now in 2023, we can see that those were still extreme moves. They were still relatively for the time and based on the power trend line, extreme moves. Okay. And uh, 2021 was actually not so. Uh, only only uh, one standard deviation move up. But of course, uh, main point of this video is uh, in the last year, uh, specifically from all of the scam coin uh, crises here in mid 2022, culminating in the FTX bankruptcy in November 2022. Bitcoin's price also took a tumble and it took a pretty big tumble. You see here when we were about 
16, 17 thousand dollars per Bitcoin in December 2022, we were at a two standard deviation move down. And so that band, that red band there, uh, let's just take off all the bands so you know exactly what I'm talking about. That red band there, it meant that Bitcoin was touching an event that only had happened 5% of the time in the past. So pretty rare, pretty rare. And it actually bounced right along that band. Again, this is not technical analysis. This is just basic statistics. It bounced along that band and then uh, creeped back up. Uh, even during the banking crisis of, uh, of March 2023, where badly managing uh, cash-managed banks uh, mismatched asset and liabilities. Banks uh, had many problems, had to be pseudo-bailed out uh, in the U.S. and other places. Bitcoin still rallied from the lows here in, at 16,000, uh, went up to 30,000, uh, mid-year and into the summer, fell back down to about 25,000. And now I'm actually, uh, I have the data as of today, as of literally this recording, um, we are about at $36,570 per Bitcoin. And we have had a nice little bump here from the high 20,000s uh, in the last couple weeks. So this is where we are now. Now let's put the other standard deviation bands up to see where we are. We already have the trend line. We can see we're well under trend. Let's just quickly look at that. The trend line here, based on today, as of recording, November 10th, is $60,000 per Bitcoin, $59,918 per Bitcoin, based on every single day of pricing history in the past. That is the trend line, right? That's theoretically where the price could or should be. And we have the actual price, uh, $25,000, $24,000 below that. And the two standard deviation down move, which be, would be a very rare move, right, which we did have a year ago, uh, would be if Bitcoin tumbled back to $23,000 per Bitcoin. So they're all rising. All the trend lines are rising. Now let's look at one standard deviation down. We're above that as well. So what this means, now let's put one standard deviation back up. Let's even take away the two down. It means right now we're right back in normal territory. Okay. No matter what CNBC tells you, no matter what Peter Schiff tells you, no matter what Bloomberg tells you, we're actually right back in normal territory for Bitcoin. We're not even on trend. We're below trend, but we are in the territory that occurs within one standard deviation. It means within uh, two thirds of the time, two thirds of the time, two thirds of the days analyzed, Bitcoin will be within this band. Uh, and we can see that it actually is right now. So we're within one standard deviation territory, pretty normal. Uh, if we were to get to, say, two standard deviations up, if we had a major, major bull run, which I'm not claiming will happen anytime soon, uh, but just so you would see, a two standard move up, and this is where you can really see the uh, not only the volatility of Bitcoin, but just the dynastic growth that has occurred as it's been adopted by millions of people around the world uh, in the last 14 years, a two standard deviation move up based on the numbers today, which would mean 5% on the, on the upside. It's actually 2.5% on the upside. I mean, a very, very rare move, okay? So outside of 95% of the, uh, of the uh, observations, Bitcoin price would need to be $394,000 for Bitcoin. So that's where we are. As always, uh, I'm pulling this chart out to 2030. And just if you're curious, I have had this many times, shown this in many videos before. The trend line at the moment is roughly $600,000 per Bitcoin in December 2030. Again, the 95% R squared. The trend line will move up or down every day based on new data that is fed into this model. This is what it is. Pay attention to it. And thanks for watching.